My name is Emmanuel Noah, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of BenBen, a digital lands transaction company and digital lands registry based in Accra, Ghana. And Emmanuel, how did the idea for BenBen come about? Ben Ben, the idea for Ben Ben started in my sophomore year at the University of Michigan, where I met my co-founder. So at the time, we were both involved in the non-profit space. So I was an advisory member in the Blockchain Education Network, which is a non-profit. So we had various educational events at universities across the states, including Ghana as well, Ghana and Nairobi. We received a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation where we were tasked to investigate mobile payments and how those could be applied in developing economies. So we, uh, we decided to focus on land payments because at the time there were lots of people doing utility payments, uh, various peer-to-peer -peer payments and B2B payments, but nobody was doing land payments. So I moved back to Ghana where I served as a government technology consultant at the Ministry of Land, uh, the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. And uh, through my experiences there, I was able to realize that the first step to developing this solution was uh, for there to be a robust, secured and trusted lands registry. And Ghana at the time didn't have that in place. So we developed a digital model for this where we were able to work in a pilot area of 2,000 properties. So we're able to build a digital lands registry to facilitate uh, property payments. So we did our first use case with ground rents between the owners of those properties and the lands commission. And so how many people are using Ben Ben now? So currently uh, Ben Ben focuses on the B2B model. We have a, a letter of intent from the Ministry of Lands to, um, run, to run our system. Um, so we have 500,000 uh, parcels on, on our platform. So that's the entirety of great, the greater Accra region, which is um, the most populous and the most densely um, transaction the, the region has the most, most tra transactions. transactions yeah so uh, we currently have a commercial pilot agreement with Barclays uh, Bank Ghana and uh, so they are our first uh, clients as we are a B2B company uh, but moving forward the idea is to sign on six other banks the six banks that uh, have that uh, perform property uh, transactions so mortgages home loans and equity releases uh, later this summer so we we um, so we move into towards six uh, clients, and the idea is to convert all these pilot agreements into commercial licenses at the end of the year. And how have you raised investment? So, um, so as I said earlier, Ben Ben uh, started uh, in the non-profit space. That's where where everything came out from, from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, funding. So that was a hundred thousand dollar research grant. Uh, so moving forward, we've applied for the second tranche. So that's a million dollars. We're still waiting on that. Uh, we also went through the Barclays Techstars Accelerator. So um, that came with a $20,000 uh, $20, convertible note, uh, which um, came out, of, which obviously we had to give up some equity for that. And um, currently, we are currently raising a seed round to um, help scale our efforts in Ghana. And, and what get, size of seed round is that? So it's a two fifty to three hundred thousand dollar seed round that we're currently uh, raising. And what plans have you got over the next year to two years? Yeah, so uh, the idea is to consolidate our efforts in Ghana because um, what we are doing is quite new. Um, it's something that uh, needs to be tested. We've already proven it with Barclays, but, how, but how, however, we want to make sure we go the extra mile and uh, do a lot of commercialization efforts. Um, our next test bed uh, is Nigeria. So the banks that we work with are Pan-African banks. So these banks are not just based in Ghana, but uh, across uh, the continent. So the idea is to perfect our solution in Ghana and scale through that connection to other markets. So Nigeria, so we'll be going to Nigeria uh, within the next year, and the aim is to move forward from there. And when you talk to somebody like Barclays in, in Accra mm -hmm. about blockchain, what's, what's their attitude? Yes, um, a bank is quite a big organization. Um, when, you, when you get very technical with them, it, quite, it sometimes goes over their head. But uh, on, the, on, the, on the base level, they are very receptive of the technology. Uh, because of the, the the accountability it provides to them, the traceability and auditability that it also enables them to conduct. Because uh, as a bank, you are known for your security and how well um, and how well your your, your transactions are, are trusted. So the blockchain provides that as it provides um, an immutable ledger 
for the for the banks to always move back to and then monitor how these transactions take place so there's always accountability maintained in each of their transactions